When you are faced with a green side bunker shot, there is one rule you have to follow. This is non-negotiable. And I will guarantee you, you will get the golf ball out every single time. The one rule is loft. Like, you cannot get out of a greenside bunker unless you have loft. Now, which club you choose is kind of down to you a little bit, but you need a lofty golf club, either a 56 degree sand wedge or a 60 degree lob wedge. I personally prefer going with the 60 degree lob wedge, certainly when I've got to get it stopping quick, but that's not it. The club choice is one element. What we do next is absolutely vital, and that's the number one rule. Whenever I see golfers struggling out of bunkers, and I'll look at them and see what they're doing, I can guarantee they're not following this number one rule. And that is, you have to open the face first, then re-grip the golf club. You cannot get out of the bunker if your face is closed or de-lofted. It just will not work. So the number one trick, first off, turn the head open. But well, I'm adding loft here. Then re-grip the golf club. Open first, re-grip after. And as you can see there, that face is almost flat. Now for a lot of golfers, it might scare them and that's why they don't do this because suddenly that loft looks like it's aiming way off to the right. But believe me, it's not in a lofty club. Number one rule, open the face first, lie it flat, then re-grip the golf club. What you do after that can be a little bit varied. So if you want to in a bunker shot, aim your feet to the left, a little bit kind of old school, shuffle your feet in and cut across the golf ball, that's absolutely fine. Or if you want to do a little bit more modern technique where you actually aim at the target or parallel to the target, again, open the face, re-grip, but then lower the handle to get that loft aiming straight back. Again, that's absolutely fine. But on top of that, the next things you have to do, 100%, you've got to hit behind the golf ball by a couple of inches, and you've got to hit with speed. And this is why that opening the face is so important. If you've opened the face already, and you hit with speed behind the golf ball, that ball will pop out, believe me. So. I can open the face, I'm lying this face so flat, but like it's pointing up to the sky, then I'm gripping it, I'm going to hit behind the sand and follow through. That's where I get my speed element. And if we can do those things, this ball will pop out. And that way, it'll just pop out. The loft is your friend, believe me. Again, I'll confirm, open the face first. I'm not gripping it. Lie it flat, flat as a pancake, then grip it. And again, if you do want to try that style where you aim more at the target and drop the handle down, that's fine. But just hit behind the sand with a bit of speed and time and time and time again, it will come out. Believe me, number one rule, open the face first, then re-grip hit a couple of inches behind the sand and hit with speed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Honestly, don't let me catch anybody with a shut face in a bunker.